today I'm going to show you how uh, quick and easy it is to adjust your alignment of your 3D stereo footage um, with the 3Z stereo preset for After Effects CS5. One thing I really like about this uh, preset is that you don't have to render until the very end. Um, the only thing you render is your output, and so um, you don't have to uh, you don't have to put the clips together um, or or anything like that. Um, and actually. It, I'll have a couple other videos coming out that shows you how to uh, adjust your alignment of an edited sequence from Final Cut, and that's a really, really slick way to do it. So, But for now, I'm just going to show you how to edit the alignment of one clip. And so um, I have some footage of this cannon um, that is at a local park around me, and uh, basically I want this, this cannon's, uh, I want this cannon's barrel to come out of the screen at the viewer. And so I'm just going to adjust my convergence for a little bit behind this barrel. Uh, but first, I have to drop my footage in. And so there's a, there's a couple comps that are open. There's a drop zone right and drop zone left. And so just like uh, the name says, you just drop the right footage in the right, left footage in left. And then this is also where you can adjust uh, your sync. If you have a genlock or a remote in some in some way to start the recording at the same time, this probably won't be an issue. But um, if you're like me and you just had two little cameras uh, and you tried to hit it at the same time, it doesn't always quite work. So sometimes you have to edit the sync. And uh, I happen to know because I looked at this earlier that my right eye is actually a little bit after my left eye. And so what I'm going to do is just hit Alt and Page Up with the layer selected just to move it back one frame. And so if I go into my Edit 3D comp, um, it brings up both eyes uh, superimposed over each other and so that you can edit the alignment. Um, but you can also check the sync. And so all I'm going to do is just find a frame with some movement and hit Page Up and Page Down and just make sure that they're moving along with each other. And of course, looks like they are. So that's great. So it looks like we're set there. Um, all of your alignment controls um, are going to be in the geometry control layer. And so um, here's where you adjust your convergence and your vertical disparity, as well as your rotational and zoom disparities uh, for each eye. Um, but for now, I'm just going to um, converge on probably a point somewhere around here and just see what it looks like because uh, I know that that's behind this cannon and wherever I converge is going to be on the screen plane. And so I'm going to zoom in and I'll just use this little this little edge to uh, to converge on. And so I'm just going to hit my convergence and bring them a little bit closer together just a bit. And that looks pretty good and then vertical and just line them up so that they are pretty much registered. I'm just going to zoom out, see what that looks like, and it looks like that's pretty good for uh, for everything. So then you can preview it in 3D uh, by either selecting one of these anaglyph previews. Um, there's there's blue and yellow, there's green and magenta, or of course red and cyan. Um, but for right now, I'm using the uh, green and magenta. And uh, if you happen to have a 3D monitor, you can actually um, set it to side by side and uh, look at the side by side render comp um, to view your 3D. But for me, I just have uh, the green and magenta glasses, and so I'm just going to bring this up and look at it. It doesn't look too bad. This is a little bit, a little bit far apart, a little bit more than I probably want to run with. So. I think I'm going to converge a little bit closer on this cannon. I'm just going to go back to my geometry control and I'm going to bring the convergence forward a little bit. So I, as I drag this slider left, uh, it will bring the convergence point forward. So I'm going to go to my anaglyph again and look at it and that looks a lot better. And so that looks pretty good. I think I'm just going to run with that. and. Uh, What's cool about all these properties is you can animate them really easy. You just hit the stopwatches, just like anything in After Effects. And uh, you can bring up the keyframes in your geometry controls. And I'll just uh, look at parts in the clip that I know I'm going to render. That looks pretty good. And I'm just going to set my keyframes for that. 
and it's amazing a lot of the time you don't have to edit a whole lot um, if your cameras are staying at least on the rig pretty well this is a little bit far again um, so I'm just gonna bring my convergence together just a little bit and uh, make that look a little bit less crazy and uh, yeah that looks a lot better so now that I have that all edited um, throughout where I'm gonna want to render in this uh, in this footage I'm just gonna go to my anaglyph scrub through make sure it still looks good throughout so that looks good this preset also makes it uh, really easy to add floating window and if you don't know what floating window is go ahead and check out our other video on floating windows but if you do if you do there's uh, controls for your floating window you can uh, tilt um, either of the top or bottom edges out towards you uh, you can also pan the left or right edges out towards you you can also just pull the whole frame back um, or you can mix them and of course these are all um, able to be animated uh, however you want um, just by by setting keyframes uh, you can also soften the edges if you'd like and it all depends on what you're going for in your shot um, but for this shot I'm probably just gonna go with a tilt because I know that the ground's coming coming pretty close to me and so I'm just gonna just gonna tilt it a little bit just to uh, make sure I'm safe on that and so then I'm gonna go to my anaglyph and look at it and that looks pretty good when I'm ready to output I just uh, open my side-by-side -side render comp and of course all the all the changes I made are reflected in the side-by-side -side render. I don't have to do anything crazy. All I do is just set my ins and outs so I can just add this to my render queue and render it however I want as an HD video. And that should work for upload on YouTube or other applications, whether it's for, um, for broadcast or for, um, for Blu-ray or, or whatever you are producing. So if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave a comment on the video and make sure to check out our other tutorial videos as well.